guys, welcome back. I'm glad to see you. Today we're up here in my garden and my broccoli plants are screaming at me that they need to be picked. So I'm going to go through the garden and pick some of this broccoli, blanch it, freeze it, and that way I'm going to have it there for the winter time. Stay with me. I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, guys. We have a broccoli plant here that's probably, oh, about, let's say, four or five inches across. And when you look down, down on the stems here, it has three stems. One, two, three. Now, they all come out of a main stem down here a little farther. So when you cut this off, you're going to want to cut that off down below these three stems so that you don't have three individual stalks sticking up. Now, when you cut this off, you're going to want to cut it off at an angle so that way water doesn't sit on top and cause the plant to rot. So, once at an angle. You can see I cut the angle here. Let me show you the plant. All right, so that's the spot I cut off. And as you see, I cut it at an angle, about a 45 degree angle. That way the water can't sit on top of that fresh cut spot and make it rot down into the stem. Now, we're not going to cut the whole plant off because as you can see around, I got some little florets of broccoli coming off the base that are going to grow up into nice little heads as well. So we're going to leave them on, let them mature. On to the next plant. All right, so on the other plant you saw, the florets of broccoli were real close to the stem and they're still small. Now, point blank, you're going to want to leave those on because they're going to grow bigger and, well, the fact of the matter is it's going to be bigger and it's going to be more food. So it's worth leaving that on. But once they start growing away from the stem and shooting out and having long stems of their own, like this one here, it's just a little florette. You're going to want to start cutting those off before they start to flower. Once they start to flower, they're really bitter. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this plant off right here. Now remember, when you cut these off, you still want to cut them off at 45 degree angles, simply because you don't want water sitting in the uh, flat spot on top of the plant causing it to rot down inside. It's not good for the plant. I have a spot on this plant here that I have taken a, a crown of broccoli off of already, and I cut it off at an at a angle. Let me show you why we cut it off at an angle, because what happens when this plant starts to dry out. This right here was a... Uh, crown of broccoli that I cut off of this plant, and I cut it off at a 45 degree angle. The reason I cut it off is because when it dries out, it gets a little hole inside of it, and water tends to sit in there. Once you cut it off at a 45 degree angle, it allows the water to, it allows the water to flow out a lot easier than uh, if it were flat on top and it had these craters in it. Then the water would just sit on top and go down inside the plant and make it rot. All right, I got a few more plants here that the broccoli clowns are... Clowns, yeah. The broccoli clowns are ready to be cut off. Yeah. Huh. All right, I got a few more plants here that the broccoli crowns are ready to be cut off of, and then I'm going to move on to some cauliflower that I have over a couple rows over this way. Look how nice that crown of broccoli looks. Nice, clean, organic, and I know where that food's coming from. All right, let's move on over to the cauliflower and see what we got over there ready to go. I have several that are looking better than others. I don't know why. They're all right near each other here. Uh, the yucky looking ones here, I'm going to go ahead and cut them off and be done with them for the season. All right, after I got all the bad cauliflower plants pulled out, I figured out there was about six that were bad. I pulled them out, tossed them off uh, in, in the compost pile, and now I have eight cauliflower plants left. Some of these are ready to be picked now, some of them are going to need to wait just a little bit longer, so I'm going to go ahead and start cutting off the ones that I want to take down to the house for now. When you cut these cauliflowers off, you want to cut these off at an angle also. For the same reason you cut the broccoli off at an angle, you don't want the water sitting on top of the live stem and causing it to rot. Sometimes cauliflower plants will actually go and make some more cauliflower uh, florets or heads off the side of this plant. So you want to give this plant every fighting chance that you can. Alright guys, now we're down here at my squash, squash, yeah. my sasquatch patch, squash patch. Alright guys, we're down here at my squash patch now. I'm going to go ahead and start collecting the squash that have ripened up now and bringing them up to the truck. I'm just going to have you guys wait here as I go down into the patch and come back and forth with bins full of squash. 
stay put. You can watch me work from a distance this time. Well, that's the lower portion of the spaghetti squash. Now I'm going to start picking up here closer to the road. Stay with me. I'll show you what else I got. Alright guys, that's it for today. As you can see, I got another basket full of uh, butternut squash. These ones are more average size than the last one I got. These are uh, about what you would find at the supermarket, about that size. And they all look good. Now some of my butternut squash has this little discoloration spot on it. I don't know if you can see it there on the camera or not. kind of looks like it's rotten. However, that's not rot. That's from the water that we have in this area. Uh, it just discolors it as it uh, rests on the ground. So that's the spot that this plant had uh, rested on the ground and well, that's the result. But it's totally okay to eat. So between this and what I got from the last bunch, uh, my last little update video that you guys saw, I have a pretty good amount of squash from this little squash patch. I would say that these raised mounds have worked well and I'm going to plan on doing these raised mounds again next year. So, hey, experiment, success. Anyway, I hope to see you guys soon in my next episode. See you then. Bye-bye.